Hi, I'm Jeff Sanford. We're here at the Canadian Business Economic Outlook 2009. And we're here with Dr. Sherry Cooper from BMO Financial Group. You just gave a presentation to the audience, and uh, one thing you mentioned that I thought was interesting, there are 50% off sale signs in malls before Christmas. These are interesting times, aren't they? Exactly. Retail sales in the U.S. have just crashed. Now, retail sales, we just received the numbers for September in Canada, and they've held up. Uh, which did surprise me, hmm. but uh, the real meltdown in the markets uh, happened in October and November, so we'll see what happens. But clearly, just walking around, you see that stores are empty and there are a lot of for sale signs. Sure. And where are we then in this process, in this entire kind of a rebalancing process? What, what, is this a, a bottom in terms of these retail sales, or does this extend? No, or what, unfortunately, um, I think that the worst uh, GDP numbers will be in the current quarter, the okay. fourth quarter, but we're likely to see continuing decline in economic activity in both Canada and the United States in the first and second quarters of next year. Sure. sure. So it's, uh, this is a real consumer-led uh, recession in the U.S. In Canada, it's more of an export-driven recession, but consumers have taken note, sure. and we have been spending at a more aggressive pace than the United States, but most people now that the stock market has fallen 39% yeah. in one year yeah. are beginning to feel that they, they should be more frugal. Sure. Now, you know, we've seen the stock market uh, bounce back uh, amazingly well in the last couple of days. In is that the U.S. In the U.S., sure. Is that a little premature, do you think? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, these are early days, okay. and uh, when you get, get a sell-off, the likes that we've seen recently, yeah. there's always uh, going to be profit-taking and occasionally bounces. Uh, I'm hopeful that the worst in stocks may be over, but I don't think that we're going to get a recovery anytime soon. Sure. I don't think it's going to happen until we see solid evidence of a U.S. economic rebound. Sure. Uh, you mentioned in one of your recent uh, commentaries that uh, governments need to start thinking about uh, or assuming a, a worst case scenario. What do you mean by that and what do the governments need to be doing? Well, governments all over the world have promised that they will not allow an institution to go under that is big enough to have significant systemic sure. effects. Sure. Um, and so that means that we see big banks being bailed out in the United States. There's great concern about the car industry. Yeah. Uh, in Canada, it's not so much that we have a problem in terms of any particular company, and our banks are very strong. But to provide liquidity, which they are doing, yeah. is very important. In terms of a worst case scenario, we don't want to see deflation. And that means that we need to improve confidence. We need to provide lower interest rates. We need to see fiscal stimulus, all these things that would create jobs and improve the outlook. Sure, and infrastructure spending would be one way to do that. That's something. Well, you infrastructure you, you, spending is a big item yeah. for uh, President-elect Obama, and I believe that it would be a welcome advance in Canada as well. Okay. There has been underspending for many, many years, and yeah. there's lots of projects that would be uh, very fruitful and improve productivity. Sure. In your presentation, you mentioned uh, Obama as one reason for optimism. I want to go into that a bit. When well, I, I think that what Obama brings to the table is both the recognition of just how serious the situation okay. is. Is that something the Bush administration wasn't doing? N well, uh, the Bush administration, unfortunately, has approached this on an ad hoc basis. Huh. There doesn't seem to be yeah. any major strategy. Yeah. Instead, it's like we're, they're sticking their hole, their finger in the holes in the dam, but yeah. there's more holes than anyone can deal with. Sure. And certainly when McCain was running, he didn't appear to recognize the severity of the, of the situation. So the good news is, number one, 
um, Mr. Obama absolutely sees, recognizes yeah. the, the problem, and he's put together a group of very distinguished economists to deal sure. with the problem. And these are experienced people that will not be learning on the job. I was happy right. to see Tim Geithner right. as Treasury Secretary he's been there the whole time. Yeah. because he's been in the middle of all this. And so there will be continuity in terms of knowledge, but fresh ideas in terms of how to deal with it. Sure. And also, they're not wasting any time at all. I think that yeah. there's a good chance that even the day after the inauguration, they'll hit the ground running, that they will have a fiscal stimulus package ready to go. Yeah, hopefully that, uh, that does happen and kind of allays people's concerns. But, you know, the average Canadian right now is getting a little anxious. They see their RRSP down uh, substantially, uh, someone trying to retire, uh, especially if they have a DC plan. This is something you mentioned in there. What would you say to those, the average Canadian out there, with maybe with a DC pension plan trying to retire? What do they need to think about? What do they need to... Well, and, and it's even worse for those people who have already retired yeah. on a, a DC plan because yeah. their money is, you know, they don't want to have to sell stocks at yeah. markedly depressed prices. Yeah. Uh, I, I tell people don't panic. Uh, I do believe that we will see the stock market come back, we'll see uh, the emergence of a bull market at some point, but yeah. it certainly isn't any time in the next few months. Sure. And most people are going to have to cut back. Most people will just have to save more money. And we're all realizing that, there, that we had taken a lot more risk than we certainly knew <laughs> and that we were, uh, we were wrong to yeah. have so much money in stocks and for most of us, so little money in very safe investments yeah. like government bonds or GICs. Sure, sure. It's not the best news, but thanks for the straight talk. Much appreciated. I, I see no point in sugarcoating this because yeah. even the governments now are speaking uh, very directly about yeah. it because it's people need to know what's going on and, and to take action as a result. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. You're your welcome. Time. This has been Jeff Sanford at the Canadian Business Economic Outlook 2009, talking to Dr. Sherry Cooper from BMO Financial Group.